Hey guys, this is Patrick, and, and welcome to Patrick's Video Blogs. Now I review stuff, and I'm in a bathroom. Anyways, for our very first review, we have Garfield. A tale of two kitties. Ooh! And I got it from the library, as you see from the... the <coughs> these TVs. So, anyways... Now, of course, we all know that Garfield, you know, Tell Two Kitties, is the sequel to the kind of successful Garfield the movie, which, which was shockingly not horrible, or maybe shockingly not mediocre. In fact, I almost liked it. If you ever catch the comic rather well, if you like the comic, you would probably like Garfield the movie. If you just like the Garfield cartoon show, you probably wouldn't. So the plot of Garfield 2, you know, which I'm not going to call, call by his full name anymore since it's way too long, basically is, you no, know, it's Garfield goes to England. I mean, there's other stuff. Because, you know, since John and Liz hooked up in the last movie, John wants to propose. But Liz is, you no. Know, <clears throat> is on the way to England to go to the M Conservatory speech thingy since Jane Goodall dropped out. And John's like, well, I guess I'll follow her to England. Which doesn't, which Garfield doesn't approve of since, you know, it's all about him. It's like, wait a minute, if Liz, you know, if Liz and John are married, what would happen to me? So he decides to follow him and takes Odie along for some reason. But meanwhile, in the in England, the there's another cat that looks exactly like Garfield, but he's a prince. Somewhat, he's the lady of the Carlisle Castle's cat, and she dies, so she leaves everything to him. But the evil Lord Dodges <laughs> doesn't like that. And since, you know, the cat dies, he gets everything. He just, he devises a way to kill the cat. So he just throws him into the Thames River. <laughs> and then, you know, John gets the the royal cat, and Summer Gall goes to the castle through some wacky hijinks. And it's like the Prince of the Popper without anything good in it. And that's pretty much um, the problem with Gopher. It's not, I mean, technically good, it's not even technically bad. Just like mediocre, it's forgettable. There's some good plot. There's some, there's some good laughs in there. I mean, I'm not going to lie and say I just like stone face or anything. But, you know, it's like, it's not a good plot. It's not a good business. I mean, yeah, he's fat, he watches TV, but the, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the first one, you know, exploded Garfield character much more, full, much more fully. He was a much more real character. He was everything. He was pretty much what Garfield was. And here's, there's a small degree of, you know, take away if it was somewhat interesting about Garfield. And now the only thing is, look, I'm pretending to be a royal. And that's kind of, I mean, that's really, dude, the comic must justice. And, you know, the comic doesn't have that much justice to go, go, you know, to have. Or, you know what I mean. In its place, we have something similar to Babe. And, you know, I love Babe. But if I want to see, you know, a bunch of animals, you know, causing mischief, working together, blah, 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 I would watch Babe, a far superior movie. Now, shockingly, the acting isn't too is exactly the same, mostly. 
mean, Drakenmeyer, who plays John Arbuckle, he still does pretty well, even though, thanks to him looking up, he's a bit more assertive. He punches a guy in the face, which is awesome. But, you know, like I say, now that he doesn't have charisma, uh, but I don't think that's really a big flaw, ever. Because, you know, you're playing John Arbuckle. You can't have that much charisma. You can't be that cool. You're pretty much, you know, forced to take care of Garfield. And let's see, Jennifer Love Hewitt. She sucked in the first one. She sucks now. Of course, I pretty much said, you know, well, she's hot. And, you know, that's very true, but ever since I found out she bedazzles her, you know, a JJ. Oh, God. I can't... I don't... I can't find her type anymore. That's... That's just creepy. That's just wrong. It's like, I'm going to have sex with you, woman. Wait a minute. Why do you have a disco ball for you for JJ? Let's see. Bill Murray's back as Garfield. Like I said, he does do good. I mean, but pretty much anything that's funny comes from him. But, um, I mean, Brand, we could do better than Bill Murray, but we can do worse. Now we got the new guy, Billy Connolly's in this. You might remember him as uh, Tom Cruise's friend in The Last Samurai, El Duce, Duce in The Boondock Saints, and. What else? He was, he was in open season. He was the squirrel who commanded a bunch of squirrel, squirrels to throw nuts at people. Because he was crazy! Eh. Shockingly, he looks like John Cleese. He acts like John Cleese. He has John Cleese's mustache. He does comic manic stylings. Like John Cleese! He's pretty much John Cleese, except for bushier hair, and he's Scottish. Why can't they get the real John Cleese? I'm sure he's, he was in the Pink Panther too! It's not like he's, you know, doesn't, I don't want to say he does that, I'm not stupidity, but it's not like say, well, this is too good for me. And it's not like, well, I can't have any kids' movie. He was in the first Sir Harry Potter movie, he says. Nearless, headless Nick. <sighs> I mean, sure, it's a funny uh, John Cleese impersonation, but I want John Cleese. I like John Cleese. I'm not, I'm not saying I don't like Billy Connolly, but be Billy Connolly. Don't be John Cleese. <sighs> and most, and the other voice actor is pretty much the voice acting. Eh, is so bland and generic. Most like, those are to the credits till I saw. What the? What do you mean, Tim Curry was the other. was the golfer to look like? What do you mean, Bob Hoskins was the master servant? What do you mean, Sarah Osborne is in, is in this? And what do you mean, Vinnie Jones is that big stupid dog? Are you saying Vinnie Jones is a big stupid man? Probably. I mean, I mean, it's not that it's bad, it's just forgettable crap. So, Garfield to you. Now, is everything Garfield really isn't? It's funny at times. I still like Bill Murray. I still like Brecken Meyer. Billy Con and I still like Billy Connolly, if, even if he does a half rate John Cleese. But other than that, I mean, I guess it's a good kids film, but stick, but even as a guy who actually liked the comics at one point, uh, skip this movie.